you tell me a little bit about working with Ava? Um, it was too brief for me, really. I mean, uh, we had a... It, that, and that was the case with quite a few people who were in the film. They could, it's just like it was a, a cross... We, I was passing the, all these good actors and they were... Yeah, I'm just leaving, you know, and they just, anyone wanted a piece of this. Everyone wanted to be in this. It's so extraordinary, the script. So how is you it know? approaching something where you're only in it for a little bit? Does it let you kind of hyper-focus on that one scene you're in to make it pretty big? Yeah, you can't, you've got, I don't, I'm, I'm never worried about it if you can get it right. And the, and I, the thing is, you don't have that much time and you, and you to be effective. So you, you every, every moment, that's why Ava's, Ava's very good at focusing in on that. Every moment that you have, you don't have to fill it necessarily, but it has to, it has to have a, a, some kind of resonance. That's one thing you know. I was really impressed by. I walked out of this movie and you do, like a bunch of you do only have these couple of yeah. minutes here and there, but I mean, I could remember everybody and how they affect the whole situation yeah, and it all it wouldn't, comes together. He, it wouldn't work for these guys who are in it, the journey all the way through if you didn't have the guys that they're fighting up, fighting against, be effective in it, you know. Uh, uh, they, needed, they needed a a brick wall to knock down, basically. So what is it like <laughs> tackling a role like this? Is that kind of a disturbing headspace to get into and also believe in? No, I like it. I do. I like it because you're, you're just a tourist, you know? It's not, you think, thank God, it's not me. Um, I like it. I, I, was, I found him intriguing, and I, and I, was, I was quite scared of it, you know, because um, it's, it's quite a responsibility. And um, but once I got in there, I, st I had a it was it, it was fun. Are you fun a big research guy? Are there any kind of details that helped put him into perspective for you? With him, I was. I'm not generally. I mean, I, it just depends on the character. But with this guy, yeah, because you, you're playing some of the acts it, it did exist, and uh, you kind of some things you have to try and get right. But but it's still a fictionalized version of him. So. How how is it finding the balance between being accurate? Because there's a lot of people out there who know every single detail of the situation, but also making a movie. Well, I tell you, I'll, you know I'll I'll grab at a few things and then um, and then make stuff up. I'm I'm happy just make stuff up. I think it's you know so you can pinpoint you, the, there's things that are kind of true to him in a way and then you can just play and that's the performance outside of it you know before we have to wrap up can you tell me a little bit about reuniting with Quentin Tarantino on Hateful Eight is right. there anything that's changed about his process over the years that's really surprised you he's got more money <laughs> <laughs> that's a fair no, point no he he can have longer rehearsal which is he loves to rehearse so he he has long rehearsal period until he feels that the characters are kind of coming together and the actors got a handle on them and then he's he's right now he's prepping so i'll see him uh in the beginning of the year and how long are you on that for i think we go through till april is there yeah. anything about that movie that you think will kind of wow audiences who have seen all of his movies and yeah. are kind of looking for that next big step a lot <laughs> i'm cool with that answer <laughs>